Hello and welcome to Hardway Learning. Today we are installing a JB4 on a 2019 Golf Sport Wagon for motion. 1.8, uh, you can use any of the MQB JB4s. You just gotta update the firmware. So we bought this one used. We did, and it was off an S3. So we're gonna have to make sure we, we confirm with the previous owner that he switched it to group zero, but he did not unlock it with uh, Burger. So we're gonna have to reach out to Burger to get it unlocked so Dan can sync up his phone with it and then uh, load map six and turn the boost all the way up in this engine. But the first thing you wanna do is get the car up well, you could do all the connections on top of the engine first and then get the car up and get the bottom connection. You also do not need to take the intake off, but we're doing a throttle inlet pipe and a couple other things. But to get that uh, connection on the bottom, you gotta take the belly pan off. And Dan, what, it, what are the screws on the belly pan? T25s? T25. Bunch of T25s to, to get access to that one down there. And then uh, we'll be with you shortly, okay? Just hold on to your horsies. All right, so before you install a JB4, ignore all this other stuff, that's for a different video. You're gonna want to uh, take a 10 millimeter and disconnect your battery and leave it to sit for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. All right, so to get the OBD, OBD uh, wire through, we pulled the uh, this foam away. There's foam that I pushed up out of the way, and then there was a rubber grommet. There was a rubber grommet in here that I just pushed through and then pulled out. And what we're gonna do is cut a little slit in her and we can push our OBD wire through there. We also disconnected the battery and removed it so that we can see that hole from this side and that we're gonna run that OBD wire over to the JB4 that'll sit over here. We're gonna put this grommy in, grom gang. Now what we do is slap and tickle our battery back in there. I'm gonna slide it all the way forward. All right, so there are basically four different sensors that we're bypassing. I'm not sure what this is, like maybe the throttle body, and then your upper map, uh, post throttle body, and then below your pre throttle body map will bypass. So to get this guy, we slide it off there, and then there's a clip on the bottom that you pull back on, and then you pull it, pull it out with two hands. And what you'll do is match up, you really can't do it wrong because they, uh, they're they keyed and everything, so, and male and female. And then we will do the same for our intake manifold map sensor. So we'll pull this back, disconnect that guy, plug this guy in, lock it in, and connect this guy here. Fun watching you struggle. Lock it in there, and then we'll come below. Do the same for our lower map. And as you saw earlier, we already took the belly pan off. So, we'll get this map, which is right hither. Daniel's gonna have to figure that one out. Look at the copy. This is a copy. Right yeah, the one that's all busted apart. Oh yeah, so this person didn't figure out how that worked very well. You can also use a small flat screwdriver to dislodge the locking tab by pushing into the plug where the blue arrow is pointing. You can get an idea of how this works by plugging the two JB plugs into themselves. So you can connect those two connectors to learn these two that are loose. Oh, but his is broken. LOL, 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 LOL. But you see this picture? I don't know if that helps you at all. Oh my god, this is... Nightmare if I've ever seen one. I think it's a similar style to the coil packs. So I'm just gonna snap out first. Gonna snap backwards. So now that we got all the plugs connected, what we do is get the O2 sensor wire on and we wanna connect to this red one. So we pull the sleeve back a little ways because if you ever wanna be stealthy, you can hide where you vampire clipped it back into there. So we'll get this guy on the red wire. All right, so a little confusing because it must they must have changed the connector color between the Mark 7 and the Mark 7 5, but the video and also the pictures I've seen, it's this lower connector which runs to the pre cat O2 sensor, so right as it exits the exhaust manifold, uh, you're getting that O2 reading, <coughs> which I guess kind of makes sense because I think there is a, a cat in the downpipe. So it's the red wire on this lower connector and we will slide that sleeve back so that you can kind of hide where your your uh, tap is and we will tap tap a the blue. So what do you have to do? Strip the wire 
back or does it No, it just bites in? into it. This is a little different style than what they usually send it with, but. So now it's just time to kind of tuck all of our wires away so they don't get caught on radiator fans, sucked into turbos, and just kind of make it look stealthy and pretty, because we like pretty. All right, so now we've got the battery back on, we've got all of our connectors connected, we've got the O2 tap there. Let's see if it shows up on the JB4 Connect app. Got to connect it on the OBD. Yeah, it's actually doing something now. Oh, really? Hey! All right, now what we want to do, firmware version, browse latest firmware files. Now, let me check my email. Since this is a group whatever that I messaged it, Burger, we can update the, uh, what's that guy's name? George. Group 60, yeah, Gen 3 firmware. Current platform is already there. Should select it again. Let's do the stable one. Select that top one. Download firmware file. Alert. New firmware downloaded. To upload this firmware, select it. Select flash, then update. Let's hit OK. Select flash. And then it's going to be like. Firmware not erased. Maybe we have to wait for this bar to fill. That's just signal string. Oh. What did it say? Try raising this to 30. It just says if you're having issues. Oh, the antenna is gonna be right. over here, so let's try out there. But I don't know that that's gonna be. I feel like it isn't. Update. Firmware not erased on JB4. So. Do we need to erase first? Tap to modify? That's the same thing we were just doing. Delete. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was the file you downloaded. I think this is probably oh. the issue of... It not being unlocked yet? Yeah. Oh. It just... That's doing something different. Yeah. <clears throat> it just, you needed to change that time so it gives it a chance to actually attempt. It was, it was, wasn't waiting long enough before. Spoolie boy! Spoolie boy! So did